Hello to all. Welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about the conversion of JSON file to CSV using Mapping Data Flow activity in Azure Data Factory. So here on the left side, you can see the sample input data set, which is a JSON like structure. And in the JSON file, it is having hierarchy. So here you can see the details is subdivided into two objects that is title and name. So it is having hierarchy structure. Then comes array. The array is skills array. Okay. And this input data set is array of documents. We will see in the JSON format settings of data factory, what is considered as array of documents. So here it is starting with square braces and ending with square. Okay. And it is having the details like ID, details, or age, skills array, where details is having the hierarchy structure and skills array is having array. Okay. It is having three values inside the array. Okay. And in the output, we want it to be separated and we want to convert this JSON to CSV where ID will be one column. Then from the details, we want title and name to be separately taken as two columns, then age, uh, org, age and org as is. From the skills array, we want to extract the three skills as skill one, skill two and skill three. So this is what we are going to achieve in data factory. So let's go to the data factory. So here in the data factory inside the containers test input folder, I've placed the sample input json.json, which is having the structure same as we mentioned in the demo sheet. Okay. So it is having the array of documents. Okay. So what we'll do is we go to the data factory and we'll cre create a new data flow named as data flow JSON to CSV. Okay. Now in the data flow, we'll connect to the source. So we'll add source and the source will be the JSON file. We connect to the data set at the source level. It's inside the Gen2 account as a JSON. So we'll click on JSON format type and continue. Link service already there for the storage into account. File path will browse to the test input folder, which is having our sample input json.json file. We will click OK and click OK. So we have performed the source level settings. For the JSON input, we will go to the next option, which is the source options, the second tab. And here it is very important to note the JSON setting selected. So by default, it is showing us document per line. In our case, we have array of documents. Okay, so we'll click on array of documents. Uh, so this JSON setting, if it is not properly selected, it will give us error. Okay, and in order to understand this JSON setting, we can go and look for the JSON dataset in Data Factory and we can open the standard Microsoft link for the JSON format. And if we go down here, here it is mentioned single document, document per line and array of documents. So in our case, it is array of document because mapping data flow read one array of document from a file. So our, so our JSON file is array of documents. It is starting and ending with square braces. Okay. So our file is array of documents. So we have selected the correct format here, the JSON settings, the document form. Next is the projection. The projection is showing ID as integer details. It's having complex type, okay. Having two columns or age and skills array as array it is showing us. Now our job is to convert this JSON to CSV. So for that purpose, we have to convert the complex and the string type into normal columns. Now, for this purpose, we want to extract the individual columns from the complex and the array type. So for this purpose, we will add derived column transformation, which comes under the schema modifier section. So we'll add derived column transformation. And here, as you can see in the source, we have ID, then title name extracted from the hierarchy details. Okay. So for this purpose, we will name the column as title. And we'll write the expression for title. What will be the expression here? If we open the details tab, here lies the title. Okay. So 
our title column will hold details title value. If we click on title, it will give us details dot title. So the title which is residing inside details value will be stored in this title. Okay. So we'll save and finish. So the title is set. Next is we'll add a new column and this time it will be name. If you clearly see here after title we have name. So we'll write the expression for this. The next column is name. So the details dot name. If you click on name, it will display details dot name. Okay. Second column is also done. Now we'll add the third column, which is age and org is as is, but we want to extract from the array the elements. Okay. Skills array, we want to extract skill one, skill two, skill three as networking Java AIML. Okay, from within the skills array. So we'll create the column as skill one. Okay, and in the expression, we'll open and from the skills array, we'll take the first occurrence. Okay, for the skill one. So we'll write skills array and the first occurrence and click save and finish. Next is to add another column, skill two, and it will hold the value of second occurrence. And the last is to add a skill three. And in the expression builder, it will be skill array occurrence three. Okay, save and finish. So we have extracted from the details hierarchy, title and name. And from the skills array, skill one, two, three, first, second and third occurrence. We'll go to the data preview of the derived column settings and preview the data. So in order to preview the data, we have the data flow debug option here. We will enable this. We'll wait for the cluster to get ready. Cluster is ready. We'll click on refresh to fetch the data. So the data appeared. It is having the columns which are coming from the source. Okay. ID till array and the extra columns, the derived columns, which we have created here in the derived column settings. We have created title name, skill one, skill two, skill three. So those are appended at the last. Okay. All the columns originally coming from the source and the columns we have extracted. So the title, is having the title extracted from the hierarchy. Name is having name. Skill 1, skill 2, skill 3 ha is having the array elements. Okay. Extracted. Now, our job is to remove the extra columns and land it into CSV. So, in order to remove the extra columns, we can use the select transformation. So, we'll take only those columns which are required in the output CSV. So, we want ID. Okay. We want org, age and the columns which are extracted here. So we'll add here the select transformation under the schema modifier section and in the select settings here we'll go and we'll remove the extra input columns which is the details we'll remove. We want org and age as is. We want to remove the skills array. We don't want it because we have extracted the skills here. So id then comes title name age org. So we'll take title first. So we can drag title just below ID. Then we want name, ID, title, name here. Sorry, we want name after title. Yeah. And then age org. So we'll move age ahead. So we'll move age below name. Then we have org, skill one, skill two, skill three. So this looks fine as per the required CSV. Okay. Now we'll go to the data preview of the select transformation. Okay. So we have ID, title, name, age, org, skill one, skill two, skill three, having proper data as expected in the CSV. Now we'll land it into the sink. So we'll attach a sink and in the sink, we'll Create the data set. It will be this time CSV to limited text. Link service is already there. We'll browse to the file location. We want to land it into test output folder this time as an output file. We'll click OK. First row should have header. We'll click OK. And in the settings, we'll go sync settings. Here, we'll select the file name option to output it to a single file and enable the single partition on. We'll give the file name. So it will be sample 
csv dot csv okay we have given the name sample csv dot csv now the sync setting is done we'll validate it now we'll create a pipeline we'll name the pipeline as json to csv and we'll take this data flow here inside the pipeline and perform a debug run so here the data flow is in progress let's wait for its completion so the data flow shows succeeded status now we'll go to the test output folder so here inside my container the test output folder is already open we'll refresh here and we'll search for sample csv.csv file so here at the bottom you can see sample csv.csv is generated we'll click over it and try to preview the data here preview it so it is having the required columns okay as needed in the output csv right we have the same columns created here so what we did actually is that inside the data flow we imported the source sample json file which is having the hierarchy as well as array next in the source options we selected from the json setting the document form which is array of documents because our sample json is having array of documents which we have seen from the json format settings in edf okay from the standard page that our document is array of documents so we completed the source settings then we attached a derived column transformation to extract the data from the hierarchy and the array so we extracted from the details hierarchy the title column and the name column and from the skills array first occurrence second occurrence third occurrence as skill 1 skill 2 skill 3 then in order to remove the extra columns we attached a select transformation and remove the extra columns which are not required in the sync level we then attach the sync having the data set as csv we gave the file name option here and then we executed the data flow and got the results so i hope you have got the understanding of how we have converted the json file having hierarchy and array to csv thank you for watching the video happy learning bye